what, what the lady's is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? One of Donald Trump's most trusted lawyers reportedly sent $130,000 in hush money to a porn star just weeks before the 2016 presidential election. This porn star name, Stephanie Clifford. And she goes by the name of Stormy Daniels. She met Donald Trump at a 2016 celebrity golf tournament at Lake Tahoe. One more. One more. This dude be busy, don't he? Busy watching TV, eating cheeseburgers, lying, having a fast. What type of lowdown, dirty, rotten, stinking scoundrel of a man would go out and be laying up with porn stars while his wife is at home with their infant child. Donald Trump is his name. No down dude, man. If other leaders in other countries did remotely a fraction of the things that this dude has done, they would have been long gone. Now, I know some of y'all might point out some of the more corrupt countries. I ain't talking about them. I'm talking about the ones that you think of and you say, that's a nice place. Those are good people, decent people. I like that place. That's what I'm talking about. The dude has taken a royal dump on the office of president. I mean, he has done more to damage the reputation of the President of the United States of America than any, in fact, all of the presidents combined, all of the past presidents combined. He is the worst of the worst. A dirty old man is what he is. Look it up in the dictionary. You'll see a picture of him. Dude has made America the laughing stock of the world. Donnie Trump. I see now why his mama wasn't close to him. You know, sometimes, you're know, mostly mothers for the most part, they love their children. It doesn't matter who the, who the child is, how they come out. Mothers typically love their children, but in this case, I heard his mother was distant. I see why. Mother didn't want him. She saw how he turned out. She's like, oh, Lord, what have I created? This dude is used to getting his way, right? So he does basically anything he wants to do, and he lets his money work for him to get him out of jams. Anytime he get in a jam, get the lawyers on the phone, hey, man, this is what's going on. Handle that. So that's what he's been doing. He has ruined decades of good relationships that America has had with its allies. Nobody seems to care, at least not the people who support him. They're like, man, I don't give a damn what we jeopardize. It's like, long as we can keep dining, long as we can keep that bigot, commentary going, man. We can keep him in there, man, because, man, boy, that guy looks like me. Boy, that's the kind of guy that I would love to have over to my house. What I want to know is the porn industry is usually a free-for-all. I understand it, but it just seems like those chicks would have had some type of standard, like, okay, I'll do you, 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 you. I'll do you, 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 you. I'll do you, you, you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, I ain't gonna do you. Ooh, you, you, you ugly, you orange, you stinky. You don't, he, don't Donald Trump look like his breast stink? 
He does to me. Another porn star says that Trump could be heard trying to coax her to come over during a phone call with Stephanie Clifford. She also said that the next day, <laughs> Stephanie Clifford called her and told her that Trump was chasing her around the hotel room in his tidy whities <laughs> That's the phrase she used, tidy whities Bet you anything that those tidy whities had a brown skid mark running up the back. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?